Meet the cast, crew, and talent of Theater 29, an all-volunteer community theater in 29 Palms that has one goal this time of year, to scare you silly. Whether it's the zombies, the clowns, or the murderers, this Halloween haunt gets quite a reaction from visitors. Very scary. Terrified. But how does this crew of 60 turn an unassuming little community theater into a house of horrors every year? Well, as the co-directors will tell you, it takes a lot of guts and some hard work. We start at the beginning of the year trying to get planning done as soon as we can, and we start building in the middle of the summer to get the bigger projects out of the way and continue building all the way up till we open in October. It is pretty ambitious, especially as big as we go, because we get bigger every year. And this is the biggest we've been this year. We always top ourselves. They wouldn't hide the zombies in plain sight now, would they? <laughs> Fabiana is just one of the tour guides taking folks through. I mean, you get kids that come through that are terrified and clinging to their parents from the moment they walk in. You know, the folks here at Theater 29 really put on one frightening show. But you know what? The public aren't allowed in until the actors get into makeup and get into wardrobe. That's when things really get scary. <laughs> What's even more frightening is the amount of people being made up. Haunt creator and producer, Eric Ross. This year I don't think we have, except for the wax figures, we don't have any masks. They're all makeup of some sort, which you ask anybody that works in this industry, they'll think, are you stupid? <laughs> Especially doing it by yourself for the most part, but I got some people that really want to learn more, so I think we'll be able to handle it better for the next years coming up. And for the actors, it's very therapeutic. It's not many people can say they get to jump through porta potties, jump on broken cars, wrecked cars, you know, foaming at the mouth of people. <laughs> kind of a good release, kind of a good escape. It's just stepping out of yourself for a while and just going crazy and not going to jail for it. Eric's dad, Billy, was the inspiration for the first haunt in 2004 and those that would follow. In August of this year, Billy lost his battle with cancer. This year's haunt is dedicated to his memory. With that in mind, Theater 29 is working hard to make this year the most frightening Halloween haunt ever. It was very well done, very scary, surprises at every corner. I thought it was cool and I can't believe the imagination of all those wonderful people that put this thing together. We brought a whole herd of 17 year olds for a birthday party and they had a blast. Definitely. Reporting from 29 Palms, this is Glenn Ross. There's some new people.